Also, also Ronaldo is like, like literally like one twentieth of our following and is completely irrelevant. So we should probably just keep opening teams. No. He tried to be an IRL streamer and failed miserably. So. Oh shit! Hi Ronaldo. Sorry. I don't know why Ty cook. I don't know why Ty was cooking like hey, that. Bro. Hey Ronaldo peaked when he was fucking playing Fortnite. I'll say it. I mean, Am I the only one that's actually gonna sit here and say it? Dude, I, I mean, mean all and now he's trying, every, he's trying all to get there's highs and lows. And he's trying, he's trying to get into highs, drama. Highs and lows. Hey, Ronaldo, you're better than drama, dude. All right? Get back into the fucking competitive scene. Ah. You're washed. Now. All right! What? I said what shut I said. Shut up! Shut up! I said what I shut said. Shut up! Shut up! Holy shit. Holy fuck. I think we all understand the situation here. It's just a man trying to get back what he no longer has. And that's fame, clout, recognition, all that good stuff that comes with, you know, blowing up on social media nowadays. And that's why you don't grow a following with toxic individuals. Because I don't know why you didn't realize this, but the moment he went PG friendly, all of his old toxic supporters were going to leave him. That's why you don't grow a toxic following. Because every one of those individuals are inconsistent. And the moment you don't live up to their image, like a toxic relationship, they're going to leave you. And that's what happened to Ninja. He's no longer the best at what he does. He fell off of his image of being toxic and, you know, at, at times being funny. Bro fell off, not racking up the views he used to get. Now bro's looked at as a Karen, complaining to game companies when something doesn't go his way. And you could really see that bro was not in his prime, like OKC Carmelo Anthony. And before Tyler could even realize it, his whole following left him. And all Tyler was left with was little kids on their mom's iPads watching him play Fortnite. And you're not going to be going anywhere with this following since when they grow up, they're going to no longer want to watch you. And I think that Ninja realizes this and now he's trying to get back his old following but it's crazy because it's way too late for that i mean I, you could tell he tried thumbnails and just changing up everything but the one thing he didn't realize is the most obvious thing and that's people separated tyler from when he was in his peak from where he is now calling tyler from when he was in his peak the old ninja when he was Ninja Hyper. Now, like I said, he's looked at as a Karen. So that's why I believe you're gonna start seeing clips of Tyler being dramatic and overly toxic, trying to get back that feeling he once had when he was blowing up on social media, like someone with a drug addiction. Cause you can tell Bro was so obsessed with the numbers and the money that came in, and that all he wants is that feeling to come back. But that feeling will never come back to him since he missed the opportunity. He was so caught up on getting as much money as he could, he forgot about the one thing that was important, and that was the viewers watching you. Cause these famous people, they look at the people watching the videos as fans and not as supporters. And like every artist that fell off or like a movie studio going bankrupt, the moment the audience isn't engaged with your product, your career is over. And it's funny because you can tell when it all started. It all started when Ninja went to Mixer. Because you know, it was just a cash grab. He wasn't trying to start a community like Aiden Ross is on Kick. Instead, Ninja saw the contract and he saw that it was a big number. And without thinking of the consequences in the long run for his audience, he signed that contract without a second thought. But anyways, the lessons you can take from Ninja's past, don't take advantage of your audience or your supporters in life. Instead, do good to them as you would want people to do good to you because at the end of the day, it's just the right thing to do. And don't lose yourself while you're chasing your dreams in life. Because what's the point of making your dreams a reality if the real you isn't there to see it all happen? And the final thing I leave you all with before this video ends, don't look at the people who watch your videos or support you in life as fans. And don't even call them the word fan or fans. Instead, look at them as supporters, because that's what they really are. And it's a more respectful way of appreciating them, in my opinion. Realize that when people call you a fan, they're just caught up in the number and that you're meaningless to them because that's how most of these people are in this world they're so caught up in the numbers they don't realize that we're all just people at the end of the day so that's why it's important to call the people that support you supporters because it shows them that they mean something to you and you don't look at them as a number but i just wanted to say thank you for watching i would appreciate it if you followed me so i can continue to entertain you and maybe teach you something one day